Today I want to discuss a Linux terminal command that used to be much more popular than it currently is today. I'm talking about the finger command. So if you've been using Linux for a while, chances are you've seen like the jokes around Linux. One of the memes is that Linux is kind of naughty as far as sexually naughty because we have all these suggestive commands at the command line. Things like unzip, strip, touch, grip, finger, mount, FSCK, the file system check, although it resembles a different word, right? <laughs> More, yes, uh, U-mount or unmount, sleep. All of these are kind of standard Linux commands. They're like GNU core util commands. There's one exception though. The finger command is not there on most systems. If you open a terminal and type finger, chances are you're not going to find it on your Linux system or your BSD system or whatever Unix-like operating system you happen to be using. Finger, uh, chances are, is not there because of security concerns these days but in years past you know decades in the past the finger command was common especially on machines that had multiple users logged into it so these days you know unless you're in the server space the IT space chances are you know you wouldn't really have a use for finger anyway but it is kind of a neat command so I wanted to talk about it so I went ahead and installed finger here on my Arch Linux based system now let me open a terminal and I'm gonna zoom in so you guys can see what I'm doing here. So what finger does, if I do just finger no arguments, it's going to give me the user that I'm logged in as. So my user of course is DT, is TTY, is TTY1. Uh, it looks like I've been logged in since uh, November 11th at 12 o'clock. See idle three days, office and office phone. There is nothing here, no information. Now I could add some of this information. So the way to use finger is, uh, you know, one of the common ways to use finger is give it this dash M flag and then give it a user, for example, my user, and I will get my login name, the username, my home directory, my shell, you can see my default shell for the user DT is fish, gives me my TTY, uh, the idle information as well. It would also give me any email. So if I was using send mail on this server, you know, it would give me that. And it also would give me uh, the plan that I'm working on. So it'll give project information, plan information. I could, for example, share my phone number or my email address or whatever so other people could get that information when they check on my username for example if there was another user here named Bob you know I could get that information about Bob on the system now there is no user named Bob here this is a single user system I'm the only regular user on the system although I guess I could check information about the root user if I wanted or I don't know QEMU I've got vert manager installed so there is a user QEMU you can get information information about those non you know regular home users as well but but typically it's going to be other like regular home users that you're getting information about now let's talk about this uh, part here no plan so if you want to add plan and project information so other people when they finger you right they get that information you need to create two files in your users home directory so I'm going to use vim and I'm going to create a dot project file and I'm going to say that my plan on this system is to create videos about the GNU slash Linux operating system. And then let me write and quit out of that. Now if I up arrow and go back and do the finger dash M D T, you can see now all of a sudden I have this line here for project and you can see my project is to create videos about the GNU slash Linux operating system, but I don't have a plan. You know, what is my plan to actually achieve any of this? Well, let's create a dot plan file. So create the dot project and then create the dot plan. I'm going to say my plan is record videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Let me write and quit out of that and then once again run the finger command and you can see now I have the project and now I have the plan. Now the project is typically going to be, a, oh, I think it has to be a one line file, at least that's what it suggested when I was uh, reading the man page about it. The plan, you could do a multiple line thing. So if you wanted to share a lot of information like your office hours, your office phone, your phone extension, your email, things like that, you certainly could put that in that dot plan file. For example, if I wanted to add some other information here, let me go ahead and 
I will add my office hours. You can see 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. I also put my lunch hour here, my phone extension, my office hours phone number as well. You can see how this would be really useful stuff on a system with multiple users so anybody could get your information. Uh, again, from a security standpoint, it's kind of scary these days. In modern times, we wouldn't do this. But again, this is from like, you know, like the 1980s, right? Where you didn't care because there was no internet. There was not all of these millions and millions of hackers that are, you know, knocking on your system, trying to steal all your information. Of course, these days, you know, unfortunately, that is a concern. I kind of miss the, uh, the old days. Uh, it was much more uh, community oriented as far as the Linux ecosystem or just computing in general but now that i've added that extra information in the dot plan file now when i run finger you can see you know i get all of this information including my office hours phone extension phone number so really neat command if you want to learn more about the finger command of course there is a man page you could man finger there's actually a few flags to it but there's really not much to the finger commands it's a rather simple command there is a tldr for finger as well so if you have tldr installed uh, it will also give you, again, it's really just a few flags here. There's really not much to it. So there you have it, the finger command. Uh, that hopefully answered some questions. I know a lot of people do wonder when they see the sexy Linux terminal command joke, and a lot of people see that finger command and then go try to use it, and it's like, man, that's not, that's not even a real command. Well, it kind of is a real command. Unfortunately, these days, you have to go and install finger onto your system if you want it. For those of you that are on Arch, uh, you can find finger, I believe, in the AUR is where I found it. But for just regular desktop Linux users, you probably don't want to install Finger. It's really not useful because it's for looking up information about other users on the system, right? If you're on a single user system, which is what most desktop computers are, there's really no point in uh, the Finger command. So you, again, this is more of a history lesson and maybe a little bit of a nostalgia kind of video for those of you that are old Unix neckbeards, you know, that you know, want to fondly remember the days of the finger command you know that this video is for you guys now before i go i need to thank a few special sponsors i need to thank the producers of this episode i need to thank matt james steve armor dragon darloff daedalus gdr george lee matthew methos erion paul peace arch of Adore, realities for less red prophet roland soul astri tianrin more gentoo and ubuntu and willie these guys they're my highest tiered patrons over on patreon without these guys this quick video about the finger command it wouldn't have been possible the show is also brought to you by each and every one of these fine ladies and gentlemen Gentlemen, all these names you're seeing on the screen, these are my sponsors over on Patreon because I don't have any corporate sponsors. I'm sponsored by you guys, the community. If you like my work and want to see more videos about fantastic free and open source software like the Finger Command, subscribe to DistroTube over on Patreon. Peace, guys.